I am a huge proponent of the 1980s. I really do like love the movies that come from that decade. And while you really get a bunch of movies nowadays that give us reboots that we really never asked for in the first place, some movies every now and again pay homage to that great decade. And this time one of them comes in a series, a series called Stranger Things. Stranger Things is the story about three kids who go on the search for their missing friend and encounter an 11 year old girl who has telekinetic powers, who then gets wrapped up in a government conspiracy, who then gets wrapped up in a whole nother supernatural adventure. It's literally E.T. meets Aliens meets The Goonies and it is wonderful. This show is so good, you're probably gonna binge watch it after you finish this video. Really, to be honest, I was gonna just binge watch Kitchen Nightmares. I tuned into Stranger Things instead, and I watched every episode as soon as I started it. This show automatically goes into the conversation of best new series this year. That and required watching of 2016. It's really that good. The performances are out of this world for this show. And it's not the resurgence of Winona Ryder or the stoic performance of David Harbour. All the great performances are really carried by the kids of this show. Yeah, these guys, they kill their role. It's stupid how good this is. And within the story about the 11 year old girl and the government agency is just this heartwarming, wonderful story about friendship and how far you'd be willing to go to save somebody you love. If you guys are looking for something that pays homage to the 80s completely and something that you're not gonna be disappointed in and something that you can knock out in less than a day, then yeah, Stranger Things is definitely it. This mysterious, heartwarming, and all around strange tale of friendship gets a nine out of 10. If you have a Netflix account and you paid well, whatever amount that you pay, yeah, this is required watching. You should go check it out. Video games are next. Peace.